250 retail and our Nike SBs, are they starting to die out now? Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Jump in Chris here, come back at y'all with another vid. So we have some discussion and we also have an unboxing too as well, which honestly, don't know if I'm gonna keep these. Just gonna keep it real. Okay, so anyways, first bit of news is that we got last night, Z Sneakerhead and Sneaker Files, I believe, uh, broke the news that the new in 2025, we are gonna get an Air Jordan 1 85 high, which I'm very excited for. We are we now got a release date, it's gonna be February 14th. That's right, Valentine's Day, right around All-Star Weekend. Usually, you know, with 85 highs, it usually releases around February. But the retail price, because 85 highs are usually retail at $200. They are now up and up, up and up and up and up for another $50, a $50 jump. So we're looking like it's gonna be 250 retail. Now they're saying that we're gonna get premium materials according to Z Sneakerhead, and also we're gonna get special packaging and all that good stuff, right? So is it worth 250? I mean, I don't know what's going on with Nike right now. I wanna, I hate to sound like I'm complaining because you know what, for 250, I still plan on copping, all right? I still plan on paying that $250 ticket. Hopefully I can get it for retail. Hopefully it's not too limited. I'm hoping it's a decent amount of stock, not like just, you know, 10,000 pairs or 50,000 pairs, but like I'm hoping it's gonna be everywhere. But knowing now with it being retail at 250, it sounds like it's gonna be pretty limited. With an OG colorway, man. It's, hopefully it's not tough though, I'm just, I'm just saying. And I'm sure some people in the comments are gonna be like, oh, you know, a 250 jump, that's crazy. Hey man, look, if they're gonna make it limited, gonna be premium leather, premium packaging, I'm all for it. I don't mind it, I guess. It's just kind of crazy to think that we have seen a lot of Air Jordan ones going way under retail, sitting, I mean, almost all the Air Jordan ones that's releasing before it even releases, is actually going under retail. So I'm just wondering what Nike's thinking. Maybe Nike's thinking like, you know what, we're gonna up the bread the bread one uh, retail price because y'all let all these Air Jordan ones sit. So this is how we get our money back. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it just, I feel a little weird about it, I guess. You know, I mean, I hate to say I'm complaining. I know some people are gonna say in the comments, well, you know, this Nike's trying to take all the resale. I mean, I don't, I don't remember, what was the last Air Jordan ones that actually Resell Air Jordan One High. Just saying. I mean, I think it was a loss of found that came out about two years ago, guys. But it was. I'm. I don't mind it. I guess it just is what it is. You know, we had to pay that 250 tag. I hate when they do that. But you know, thinking like you know, they did up with some of these Jordan Elevens. They're at like 230. Remember the Lightning uh, 17s that came out? Those retail at 300. But those came in like a cool case and everything, and those were very limited. So. I guess I can see it, you know, no big deal. Anyways, we do have an unboxing here we got from Nike and these were actually, yeah, these were sitting on the sneakers app. Yeah, they were sitting pretty hard, just saying. Anyways, I went in, I just said, let me just check them out. Uh, if anything, we'll do a little Nike return, no big deal. Voila, now my question is, are Nike SB starting to kind of fizzle out? You know, are they the hype's kind of dying down. Some people might not might not like them, or is it because it's a bad colorway, or there's just no resale? It's probably the number one thing. If SB don't have no resale, then nobody wants them, right? Anyway, so this is an Air Jordan One Low Pro, and I think these things retail for like I want to say like 120 or something like that, or 130. I can't remember. Anyways, here it is. Wah freaking la. SB Turk Turco Turco Durgo. Oh man, I can't say it. Gardens. Uh, I butchered that name. I apologize. That's what I do. I, but anyways, it, so it just represents that whole city in Paris because you guys know the Olympics is in France or Paris. I, I should say. Well. I guess it's friends, yeah. I'll just say that. It's just like we're gonna get the Air Jordan 4, the white, the wet cements, or AKA Paris uh, Olympics. And these are one that they also represents. And that's what I always love about SB is the storytelling that they always put into the shoe. And I must say, maybe some people might not like just the pink on the side here, because it is, 
uh, the color tone and the color blocking does throw it off just a little bit, but material wise, I mean, I think they're okay. They're all right. Like it's all new buck, basically. Uh, maybe the toolbox is a little bit leather. I thought it was new buck, but it's, so the whole upper is this whole leather. It looks like new buck. I thought it was new buck, but it feels all leather, all leather here, leather right here. It feels kind of, I thought it was new buck. I really did. But you know what? These are pretty much all leather and maybe right here is new buck. But again, it's not. Maybe it's just some different type of leather, I guess. You know, it's pretty soft, Not, I should say. But like you guys see the logo right here, Nike SB. I mean, everything about the shoe here, it's not bad. Maybe some people might not like the light pink. But a little bit of that little brown and a little cell like a like beige color right here. I mean, I think these things look okay. I think these things, things will, these actually might look pretty good on feet with a pair of jeans or pants. You definitely see these in some casuals or you know obviously SB's a skate shoe. So you know these will actually probably shine. <laughs> these would probably be some head turners down the skating. But overall, I'm not sure if a lot of people is gonna be feeling these. Uh, these things did release at skate shops a little bit a couple weeks ago i want to say like two three weeks ago and then sneakers that finally got their release last week was able to get a w sitting on on the sneakers app i mean actually these things are actually going for a little bit way under retail so if you you might be able to cop still i'm just saying still on the sneakers app matter of fact almost every single size is still on here Again, I'm not sh I don't think anyone was really feeling these, you know? But if you guys do like these, I mean, check them out. It's only 125 retail plus shipping and tax, probably like 130 to you. But again, these things are probably going way under retail. I wonder if some of the skate shops actually dump these on stock kicks or something like that. That's why the price is kind of going down. Because again, uh, skate shops had them about a couple weeks ago. Sneakers I've just now got them last, uh, last week and they're still sitting. Probably gonna go under retail pretty soon crazy to think that SBs are now going under retail. I just think maybe if it's a bad colorway, if people's not feeling, then yeah, I could definitely see it. But I don't think these are that terrible. I've seen way worse SB colorways, like those, you know, those Petal Bismol ones, whatever they're called, I forgot. But those were pretty terrible. But these are not great by any means, but they're not terrible. But I can definitely see why these are going for way under retail. I probably... I'm pretty sure you could probably find some people trying to sell these things for way under retail, honestly. You could probably find, you know, if you go to maybe like a sneaker event or something, you could probably find these things for like 80 bucks or something. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it because it does come with the extra set of laces, this pink laces here. I might, if I were to keep these, I'd probably swap them out or I might keep this little brown, light brown colorway. I mean, it does pop with the toe box with the shoe and the tongue comes with the fatty tongue. Again, it's a skateboarding shoe. Um, just maybe I just don't think that people are feeling the colorway or probably because the resale price is not going for much That's why they're sitting Just the way how things are been, you know, but yeah, you guys let me know how you guys feel about these Trucadoro Trucadoro Gardens, sorry. I can't speak French, you know, I'm terrible at it and I can't even say names anyways I, I try my best. All right, but you guys let me how, let me know how you guys feel about these with these I'm pretty sure majority of people didn't cop, but I'm just saying how you guys feel about this colorway. Is it right though? Like, is it cool? But me personally, I think they're fine. It's not a bad shoe by any means. Will I keep them? Either way and see. And also, man, 250 for some Air Jordan 1s. I know it's a bread colorway and all, but still, 250? Man, I'm hoping that special packaging, it better come with something like Michael Jordan's signature or something. Like, he better kiss a napkin or whatever. <laughs> or, may, may, it better be some real premium materials. That's what they're saying. Something something along those lines. But, anyways, we are the way to see about that. Anyway, guys, just want to say, hey, I just want to say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at GermanChris and IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm German Chris. Peace.